Columbia Houston, good morning. John, that was for you as you and Rick uh, prepare for the first spacewalk of the mission. That was an excerpt from uh, Mozart's Variations on Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And, of course, we know the stars up there don't twinkle, but we thought the relevance still stands. Thanks very much, Dan. That was a nice wake-up music. And once we've finished our work on Hubble, I think the stars will twinkle a little more for everyone. Well said. John, we woke you up a couple minutes early because we're coming up on a ZOE in about 30 seconds. Um, we've, we'll be about four minutes of a ZOE, but we'll be off the tail on the backside for about 10 minutes. So give you guys a chance to get settled in, and we'll talk to you probably around uh, 1445 or so. Okay, thanks. We'll talk to you then. Uh, the uh, update's on board for us to print. Roger that. Shows the extension uh, from the flight support uh, system structure at the rear of the cargo bay of the extension of the remotely controlled uh, electrical umbilical. This view uh, as uh, the orbiter is being uh, maneuvered uh, again uh, within uh, striking distance of the Hubble Space Telescope. And Altman beginning to put the brakes on. Columbia and Hubble over the Pacific Ocean, southwest of uh, Mexico and Central America, standing by for capture. Grapple confirmed.